Okay, good evening and welcome to our annual spring concert featuring our beginning band, which after tonight is no longer a beginning band. And I think you're going to notice that they don't sound like a beginning band now, so you'll, you'll be very pleasantly surprised at what you hear from this group. Uh, we also have our symphonic band who has come tremendous distance this year and we'll have a really good program for you. And our high school band is going to come in and show you an idea of what their halftime show is for next year. And we're inviting our eighth graders that are going to be part of the Mighty Marching Pirates next year to step down and become, become a part of it. So without any further ado, this is our beginning band and we're starting our tonight's concert with March Across the Seas.
Robert W. Smith, uh, White has wrote tons of music for concert bands, especially for the younger group. He did a really fine job. Unfortunately, we lost Robert back at the beginning of the year this year. So all of us Troy directors have made a real effort of putting at least one of his pieces on every one of our concerts. He's honored. He did such a great job of providing music for this age level and some of the high schools as, as well. So this is called March Grandiosa.
Okay, before we move on to the final selection for this group, we've had a lot of success with these students this year. I don't know if you, how many beginning bands you've heard in the past, but folks, this doesn't sound like a beginning band. No. I mean, not at all. <laughs> and they didn't, the first time they played together since Christmas was this morning. Because they're in two separate classes. And I try really hard to make sure I do the, everything the same way, first period and fifth period, but you never know until you put them together what's going to happen. But several of our students this year took on the challenge of going to solo and ensemble. And solo and ensemble is where they picked a solo, or I picked it for them. Uh, they thought they picked it. And we worked on that solo for about a month, month and a half and they practiced it with a piano player, then they played it for a judge at Soul Ensemble Festival and were giving a rating, rating and a grade for their solo. And with this, they also get a medal. So I'm gonna present the medals to the students that did Soul and Ensemble. Give me one second to grab them. So when I call your name, just come up and get your medal. Lottie, be in. Emma Belcher. Carly Sawyers. Char Prince. Anna Blue Steger. Conrad Walton. Isaac Irvin. <laughs> Ava Ray Tracy. <laughs> and Andy Blackwell. I didn't miss anybody, did I? Okay, good. Sometimes that happens, especially in this light up here. So, like I said, these, these guys have come a long way. The really exciting part about this is almost all of these students are sticking around for next year. So, it's just going to get better and better. So, I know you can't see all of your students. I'm going to have them all stand. That will sit them down one, one row at a time, and you can take all the photos you want. So, everybody stand up. First row, be seated. Okay, second row, be seated. Third row, be seated. concert with a piece called The Approaching Coast. This is a pirate adventure. So if you listen, you think you'll even hear the cannon shots going off as, as this unfolds. 
When this, is, when this piece is over, we're going to make a very, very quick stage change. We only have to move a few chairs around, and I'm hoping within five minutes to have the symphonic band started. So we're not going to waste your time tonight. So this is the approaching coast. Thank you for your patience. We're ready to start back with our symphonic band. This band has accomplished so much this year, from the beginning of the year to our concert MPA back in March when we, we were the highest graded middle school in Nassau County and one of the three highest in North Florida. So this group has been a long time. And the really good thing for me is there's about two-thirds seventh grade. So they're coming back. So it's just going to get better next year as we keep moving forward. Uh, I think you'll, if, even if you came to our MPA performance back in March, you're going to hear a big difference between then and now. We're going to start tonight's program with a piece called Call of Champions. This is an Olympic fanfare.
that we play for our valuation is written, written by great band composer Frank Erickson that wrote a lot of stuff that I played when I was in junior high and high school. And this is one of my very favorite pieces that he wrote. It's called Air for Man. It's not their favorite piece. It's really slow and it's quiet and it's pretty. It's never going to play loud. But they humor me a little bit. So this is Air for Man. This next selection is from Leonard Bernstein's musical West Side Story. It's titled America. This is a piece that I put in the program. I shook my head and I took it out. I put it back and I took it out. Um, it's hard. And today, our teachers were gracious enough to give me my eighth graders during seventh period when after they had finished testing again. Uh, and we got to work on this enough that I feel like hopefully that we can get through this tonight because the kids like it and it's a lot of fun. This is America from West Side Story.
Okay, our next election is Pirate Code Adventure. Here, since we're pirates, that's kind of fitting. Um, and it's, it's close to the end of the year, so every day is really an adventure. Um, every day. Never know what's coming. So this is Pirate Code Adventure. participated in solo and ensemble and did extremely well. And we're going to recognize them in just a moment. If you notice, that last piece had a lot of percussion. When you have 11 drummers, you have to find something to put in their hands because if you don't, they will tear the world down. Nothing more dangerous than an unoccupied drummer. So, I think they had a lot of fun with that. So we're going to recognize our uh, solo and ensemble people from Symphonic Band.
Charlotte McKinney. Gabby Gaskin. Laura Lee Palmer. Cyrus Hill. MPA, they all also get a medal, and they'll get those when we're finished because we're running a little late. Uh, so we will pass those out back in the band room. They also get a certificate for uh, District Concert MPA, and these students that did solo ensemble will also be recognized at, at their grade level assembly next week for, for awards. Uh, other students that have done have excelled this year. Uh, all district, which, make, which is made up of all the public and private schools in Nassau and Duval counties. We have one member this year, Mona Keister. We hope now that we're out of the COVID funk that we'll be able to uh, get back to the 2018 and 20 that we used to have in that group every year next year because we have a lot of really talented seventh graders that should step up to the plate. Uh, speaking of seventh graders, we have two seventh graders that were selected to represent our school in a statewide honor band this summer down in Orlando. And that's Gabby Gaskin and Charlotte McKinney. And these honor bands are based off of their achievements and the soul and ensembles over the last couple of years that they participated in helped push them to the top of the list. So they were in competition with students from all over the state. I think they took 20 clarinets statewide and we got two of them, which is pretty amazing. Uh, a lot of these students are in their last performance with me on the stage not their last performance on this stage because next year in ninth grade they'll be right back with the high school band because we have the auditorium so they'll be back up here so eighth graders please stand so beginners you see where you're going right these are the ones you have to take next year. All right, thank you. And uh, tomorrow, uh, Friday night, for our eighth graders, the high school has their uh, spring football game at seven o'clock. 
I've told them about it. They probably didn't hear me. Uh, but the 8th graders are invited to play with the high school band since they're now part of the Mighty Marching Pirates since they made it through the Shrimp Tussle Parade. That was their initiation to the high school. Yeah. They'll meet me at 5 o'clock over at Fernie Beach High School. I need for them to make sure they let me know so we, so we know we have enough percussion instruments and stuff for them set up over there. So we're going to move on to our final selection this evening. This is uh, a piece written by a very popular performer, Taylor Swift, and this is from her Heiress Tour. <laughs> 